I'm Randy Betts Jr. at the Pew Synthé Spine Sales Consultant in Delaware. I've happily been with the company for 16 years. I also consider myself a tortoise conservationist, which is a passionate hobby of mine, specializing in colony assurance of endangered species of tortoises. I started a small company called Tort Store, where I am the only person who specializes in shipping tortoise eggs so customers, zoos, and other conservation groups can hatch their own tortoise safely. Through this network, I'm offered rescued tortoises often, which is how I had the privilege of caring for Helix. Helix is a tortoise who hatched on July 31st, 2019 in Whitman, Arizona. He was born with a congenital deformity, preventing him from using his back legs. In fact, his back legs stuck straight up in the air so he could not use them at all. Helix was flown overnight to Wilmington, Delaware, where he joined Tort Stork, my tortoise conservation establishment. His first few days, he proved that he was not going to let physical challenge get in the way of being a tortoise. Helix was determined to live his life, just like all the other tortoises here. Helix got x-rays and even a CT scan, which showed he had a spinal deformity called spina bifida. He had a hard time getting around, so he was fitted with some very small skateboard wheels. From that moment on, Helix was unstoppable. His grit to always move forward was inspirational. He became an internet sensation overnight, inspiring thousands of people across the world to never give up. Helix was the inspiration for the popular children's book series called Helix. The Helix series tackles social emotional learning standards for elementary students. SEL standards are the academic and neuroscientific breakdown of attitudes, behaviors, and actions that make someone good to themselves, nice to know, and pleasant to work with. Because all the research shows that social and emotional competence is fundamental to academic and personal success. SEL is an essential and integrated part of every pre and primary school curriculum. Hopefully Helix changes the lives of children who read his fictionalized books. Helix also inspired me to start a nonprofit called Helix Wheels Foundation. The proceeds from the Helix series books help fund this foundation. Being in the medical field and spending a lot of time around children in wheelchairs especially those who have severe deformities, I felt the need to find a way to give back to my community. Helix was in the need of mobility and his wheels accomplished that. Helix's wheels became part of his body and it relied on them to survive. At the Helix Wheels Foundation, we believe a child in need of mobility is a child who deserves mobility. The foundation raises money to help buy wheelchairs and prosthetics for children who need them. It also helps pay for repairs and attachments when needed. For some children, a wheelchair and or prosthetic is more than a device. It is part of them and no child deserves sacrificing that due to the lack of money. Helix passed away on January 16th, 2020 due to a respiratory issue, but he left his mark on the world and he will continue to inspire people of all ages. Thank you.